Suppose you were asked to find the area of this composite shape, which has a rectangle, 5 and 8, and a semicircle. Now to find the area, we have to look at both parts separately. Now the area of the rectangle is very easy. That's just 5 times 8, which equals 40 centimetres squared. However, the issue really is in shape B, a semicircle. Now we know if we have a full circle, the area is pi times radius squared. Now this is a half circle, so to find its area we treat it as a full circle using that formula there and then have the answer. Now then, the question really is, is what is the radius of this particular shape? Well the radius is basically the distance from the centre, if it was a full circle, to the outside. Now because the whole length of that rectangle there equals 8, we therefore know the radius, which is that length, must equal 4 centimetres. So the area of the circle, as if it was a full circle, would be pi times 4 squared, which equals 16 lots of pi. That's left in terms of pi. However, they may say to us, take pi to equal 3.14. We therefore have to work out what 16 lots of 3.14 actually is. And I find the grid method is often the easiest way of working that out. Excuse the mess there, we've got 16 times 3.14. Put down our diagonals. 1 times 3 is 3. 6 times 3 is 18. 1 times 1 is 1. 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 4 is 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Add up the diagonals starting from here. 4. 12. Carry the 1. 10. Carry the 1. 5. And 0. And the, the point just falls down its diagonal like so. So we have the full circles area would have been 50.24. This is a semicircle, so we have to halve it. So shape B has an area of 50.24 halved, which equals 25.12 centimetres squared. So we have shape A, which is 40. We have shape B, which is 25.12. So the total area equals 65.12 centimetres squared. And that is the total area of the composite shape.